Hi Denise, I keep fraps down here on my quick start toolbar. So a quick click opens up the frat, fraps uh, control panel. Under general, I, I don't start at minimize. I want to see the control panel. I do want to keep the fraps window on top. Now on the FPS, the frames per second, I do not display the hotkey or the benchmarking. The only thing that I like displayed is the counter and I use this tool here to put my counter in the top right corner of my screen and you will see mine on the um, upper right. Now under movies I currently have as you did uh, F9 the default to start and stop the video capture uh, and I'm going to show you how to fix your problem in a second. I do keep it, I do record the sound, I do select detect best sound and I do record at the highest possible rate uh, 60 seconds. I don't usually do screenshots uh, from this, haven't had a chance but if I did I would definitely do them in uh, JPEG. Uh, so so that's how I set up my uh, Fraps uh, control panel. Okay, now what we're going to do is to start Second Life and go into Second Life and take care of your F9 dancing problem. Let's give Second Life a uh, chance to get booted up here and let me get logged in. Okay, let's give uh, Escobar Park. That's where I uh, am by default. Let's give Escobar Park a chance to get loaded and to get resed in. And then we will take care of this. Uh, cancel a couple of uh, group messages here on Association Works Island. Okay, let's move David around, make sure everything is resed in and he's moving well. Okay, doesn't look like there's going to be any lag today. That's fine. Okay, once you are ready to begin recording, go ahead and launch Fraps, which is what I'm doing now. The control panel will come up, but we've already set up our control panel, so we can just leave it right there. Now, let's go up to the Edit menu, and on the Edit menu, we're going to click on Gestures. The gestures window comes up. Let me move it over here. Now the gesture you want to change is with your F9 key. I've already done mine, so let's do F8. But you would do your F9 the same way. Click on it. Click on Edit. And now you're going to edit that key. Here you see the shortcut key, and all you need to do is to pull down to those dashes. And when you pull down to those dashes and select it, that, mean, that means that that key is no longer going to be used for that. Click on Save. Then uh, close out the window with the uh, top, top right X. And watch what happens. See how that F8 key has now been freed up. And when you do your F9, yours will be freed up as well. Okay, now we are ready to begin recording. Look in the top right hand corner and look at the yellow numbers. Yellow means that Fraps is on pause. It is not recording when that counter is yellow. To begin recording, I press my F9 key one time, and as you see, the numbers are now red. And that means that Fraps is recording everything in Second Life. So let's walk David around uh, Escobar Park. Uh, Escobar Park demonstrates the four different ways that someone can present a PowerPoint presentation in Second Life. Okay, David has made the tour, and to end the recording, press F9 again. You will see those numbers turn yellow. And once those numbers turn yellow, that means that you have right here a Second Life AVI produced by Fraps on your desktop. There it is, the AVI file that was produced by our new best buddy, Fraps. To view it, make sure you got everything you need. Right click, choose your AVI player of choice. Here, uh, we'll open it with Windows and play it back. There are the yellow numbers up in the top right. So here's David walking all around. So the video looks good. 
now uh, what we want to do is to close that out and then to import our uh, AVI. So uh, first let me center up Cam Studio for you. Uh, this is version 6. I highly recommend that you not purchase version 6. The problems with it have now become well known and everybody is recommending that you don't purchase version 6. Uh, TechSmith ha has even had to issue a maintenance uh, release on it. But anyhow, we're going to uh, pull in our AVI created by uh, Fraps. So there it is, Second Life, and then it's got the date on it. Fraps will label it by the name of the game that it recorded. Okay, then we pull uh, Second Life down to our timeline. And I usually, whenever I'm uh, just converting things, which is what we're going to do here, I'm, I just keep the recording dimensions the same and, until I do my final render. So uh, we're going to go ahead and click on Produce As, and we're going to keep our recording dimensions, and we're going to produce this thing as a Windows, because Windows, I have found, really gives you a tight compression. It really reduces the data in there so that you've got a very manageable file. Uh, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and call this the FRAP test, and I'm going to uh, compress this down to a Windows. I haven't done any editing on it at all yet. I just want to get rid of that raw AVI file, which is so huge. They're wonderful if you're going to burn a DVD. That's exactly what you should put on your DVD is an AVI file that gives you your best uh, uh, your best quality, but uh, you just cannot work with AVIs in Camtasia unless they're very, very small. So we're going to go ahead and render this thing down to a, a, a Windows Media Player so that we can use it in Camtasia. Again, I highly recommend that you not try to edit, manipulate, fine-tune an AVI file of Second Life recording in Camtasia. It's just too big. You've got to compress it down to Windows type. Okay, we've all seen a status bar before, so I'll go ahead and fast forward through this. Okay, our uh, project has now been rendered from an AVI into Windows. Uh, let's play it back, make sure um, it captured everything, that the file is uh, not corrupt, that it's good. It's still a big file. You you saw Windows kind of hesitating there, Windows Media Player hesitating there to pick it up uh, because it was uh, it's still such a big file, and that's that's what Second Life gives you. Okay, and as you can see, it looks pretty good. The reason that you're seeing hesitations there is because I was or an am doing a recording of a recording, so uh, that's why you get that little bit of delay with David walking there. I'm making a recording of a recording. Okay, it looked good. So we close out, we finish, and now you've got your uh, you've got your Second Life recording that has been rendered from Fraps AVI down to a manageable Windows Media file that you can now work with in Camtasia.